actually a cool secret feature that's been hiding in these pocket cameras. All these cameras actually have a gyro sensor built in. DaVinci can use this gyro data to stabilize shots, and it makes the stabilizer much better. G'day everyone, Dominic here again from Gimbal Productions, and today I just want to make a quick video about the gyroscopy stabilization technique inside DaVinci Resolve. Now, thanks to the latest software update for the Pocket Cinema Camera series, we can now record the gyroscopic data that comes from inside the camera to create a much more successful stabilization technique in post. The idea is that the camera records its positional and rotational data directly into the files, giving Resolve a lot of information on how to actually best stabilize that footage. Previously, the only way to stabilize your footage in post without the use of external gyroscopic recorders was to use Resolve's camera stabilizer. Now, what this did was analyze the footage itself and Resolve would guess how to best stabilize that footage. This is similar to Warp Stabilizer in the Adobe programs. I've gone out and recorded some new footage to test out this gyroscopic stabilization technique and compare it to the old footage analysis style stabilization. Before I began, I went to the setup tab inside the camera's menus and then went to the last page. On here, you'll find a calibrate motion sensor setting. Click on this and make sure your camera is on a flat surface in order to calibrate the gyroscope inside the camera.
If you're having any trouble with your stabilizations, make sure that you're using a fast shutter speed. You'll have to take this into consideration when exposing your shots. When you're using a high shutter speed, your footage looks a bit more choppy. However, I always get around this by adding a pixel motion blur effect to my footage. If you're using a fully manual lens, make sure you go into the lens data tab of the camera settings. From here, you'll have to reset the data and input the focal length manually. It's possible that Resolve looks at this lens information to help it perform its gyroscopic stabilization. The idea of using gyroscopic data to create even better stabilization in post is an idea that has come up many many times on Blackmagic forums over the years. Supposedly, Blackmagic had intended to use this stabilization technique in the Ursa line of cameras, but only now has it been unlocked for us to use. Although right now we can only use this information to stabilize our shots, if Blackmagic allowed us users to extract this gyroscopic data, 3D animation and CGI artists could use this to better match move their cameras inside their 3D animation programs. No longer will they have to perform just a 3D camera tracker, which analyzes the footage they'll have the actual data of the camera's movements in 3D space. This could greatly assist their workflows. I was actually quite pleased with the results that came out of these tests. Although I do think it worked a lot better than the original stabilizer inside Resolve, there are some things that you'll have to take into account if you're going to be using this later on in post. Things like taking into account the high shutter speed, using a wide angle lens for your footage, and being prepared for your footage to be cropped in. Throughout all of these test examples, I was walking as if I had a gimbal in my hands. This was to reduce any visual distortions that came from moving the camera. If you're going to be moving throughout your footage, take this into account as well. It'll just help your footage look even better. If this video helped in some way, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.